Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So here I want to showcase the new mount and companion. And I also want to cover how the new companion is of such high value. You may very well want to buy it regardless if you want to use it just to potentially resell down the road. It is replacing a really exclusive mythic companion that healers can make a lot of use of to increase their effectiveness. So let's cover everything in this video. So you check the Zen market, the events tab, and here you can purchase the Yeti companionship crate. You can get to maximum 20% discount. You have up until February the 22nd to buy this. What you will get from here is yeah, a die pack. That's meaningless. You can get those dies elsewhere. A title, I guess for collectors, if you want that. You can purchase it from the auction house, from other players. Then we have the playful pink Yeti, which is simply a vanity pet. You get it in a pack, and if you open the pack, then you can use that on other characters. Now it should be account wide reclaim as per says in the tooltip, but if you buy it from the auction house, there's a bug which does not allow you to reclaim it. Also, if I'm correct, if you purchase this pack, you'll automatically be able to reclaim that Yeti despite even equipping it. So it's worth selling it because you'll already get it available here. But then there is the new companion and this one is very valuable, particularly for healers with the offensive power. Why? Because this is an outgoing healing boost that gets up to 7.5%, which you can use to directly replace the golden bullets pops bonus, which also goes in any slot, but at maximum gives 7.5% outgoing healing. You can of course use that in addition, using both bonuses to get 15% outgoing healing. So yeah very valuable you can again check the price and currently 3.5 million it is very likely that will climb well above 5 million once this pack is no longer available you can check the golden companions and the golden bullet sells here for like 9 million again with that exact same bonus they literally copy and paste it but you can buy this one for a ton cheaper and you don't have to worry about the randomness that this had. Also be aware you can get the golden companions at the end of the hero's path here within this pack. So yes, you technically could get it for free after getting your character maxed out. Otherwise that companion, yes, is an augment. And let's go right ahead and equip this thing. I was nice enough to be gifted them. Thank you very much for that. And here we have the proud pink Yeti. As for his visuals, he only has one and here he is. He's going to follow you around. He's this size, just, yep, a miniature Yeti. And he's pretty much just an augment, giving you those stats, power, crit strike and forte, which is actually very good. We just had like the best healer augment. You're getting that right now from the Feast of Lanterns event. This juvenile trade Dragonel, you can see with power crit strike and outgoing healing so really good there but this yeti also giving forte instead of outgoing healing can be very good too forte will help healers out with regeneration as you can see there this stat combination is also very good for damage dealers everything will benefit Having the Forte also means that if you're struggling to fit ratings over capping everything, Forte is usually a stat that you aren't capped out on. And so you should more readily be able to fit it and obtain a boost in other stats in totals. But here is all of those Augment Companions, including the Juvenile Dread Dragonelle. And then here is the Proud Pink Yeti. You can see which ones you could use instead but I don't really see augments as having such a big place right now in the game until potentially this companion enhancement gets changed to provide percentage stats instead of ratings. So he's cute, but again, the main benefit is to be able to slot him here in any of the slots to give that outgoing healing. Again, 7.5% on maximum, 
I won't upgrade them just now. I need to do some more analysis on my builds on whether I'll actually use that because we can already get 90% and everything without needing the extra alcohol healing from here. But that's with having the golden bullet. So yes, if you didn't have the golden bullet, it would be advised to pick it up as it's very handy for that bonus. Again, you can get it from other players off the auction house if you wanted to. Then we have the mount. The protective pink yeti this doesn't really have much special with it at least not with its combat power tunnel vision you're getting that on a lot of other mounts and the equip power ruthless efficiency you're also getting on other mounts for example the legendary hellfire engine with that you can very simply see these owl bears giving tunnel vision and they cost nothing and this protective pink yeti people are selling for upwards of 1.4 million so expensive so the only real reason perhaps would be for its stats because it has four slots let's go ahead and equip it i can show you the visuals here we can mount up there we go and there you have the yeti and you get carried on its shoulder like so pretty cool but there are already other yetis in the game and this one is then just a bit of a reskin with that pink theme you can see the spacebar animation roars like so but he is expensive for potentially just cosmetics the only other yeti is the twilight yeti which is oh yeah 300k or even more but the disappointing part is when you look at the stable we can see these are the insignia bonuses he's going to provide us trainer's restoration and oppressive reprieve that is it if you use the preferred bonus here with all of these to get the extra item level on that one you'd be getting trainer's restoration that's all right again for tanks and healers particularly when you aren't using your daily power a lot which can be viable on attack particularly when you run with the topaz ring you want these benefits when your action point is full as well tanks can also use oppressive reprieve to get the heal over time so that's everything yeti related should you buy it well if you're a new healer i would go ahead and probably try and get your hands on the companion it's the most expensive thing on the pack and if you compare the price versus the golden bullet he's well worth it giving the exact same bonus you can see an example of other bonuses that a healer would use kind of having them ranked as well and the golden bula is like yeah nearly the best right there to use so this new companion the yet pink yeti is exactly the same as that it'll be in the same position and then of course if you have some spare zen you can almost take advantage of that buy the pack and resell everything from it because you see it is all sellable including that companion which is most definitely going to go up in price down the road because of that ability again mirroring what the golden bullet has and it's a limited time sale that is only available as we can see until february the 22nd at this time but with all that said hopefully this has helped on your decision to buy the pack or not a special thank you to all of these channel members for their added support you can support me for as little as one euro a month by clicking the join button down below i appreciate it very much helps me out to continue making these videos with that we'll see you guys around goodbye for now